Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's episode, I will start with a disclaimer. Products in this video were sent to me for free to review. I have used and thoroughly tested this product to give you my honest opinion. Thank you. Today I am bringing to you 786 Soy Polish Remover with Essential Almond Oil. It's $8.99 for 2 fluid ounces on Amazon.com and I will link it down for you below. I was really intrigued by this company because when I looked into it, I saw that the nail polish or the soy polish remover is non-flammable, eco-friendly, non-toxic, it doesn't have acetone or acetates which would damage your nails or cuticle and dry out your skin, and it gently removes nail polish. And you guys know I love soy polish because I can use it to remove the nail polish that I put over my gel nails. This is the bottle. And I have to say I'm really excited that it's a clear bottle. I have other soy polishes and the bottles are not clear. I like to know how much is left in my bottle without having to like peek in the opening. So I like the fact that this one is clear. The instructions on the box just say to soak a cotton ball or cotton pad, wipe each nail first, and let it sit for about 20 to 30 seconds so that the polish remover can be absorbed into the nail polish. Then it says to wipe each nail until the polish is removed and wash your hands afterward. Now, the design I have on my nails is actually a decal that I made myself. So I have decal nails and then on my ring finger I just have two coats of white nail polish with one, clo uh, one top coat over it. So I've wiped down each nail, and now I'm just letting it rest for 20 or 30 seconds to absorb the oil. This is the first cotton pad I used. The oil and the cotton pad went well for cleaning two nails, which was my thumb and my index finger. So I'm going to get a new cotton pad, and I'm going to use it to first clean off the nail that just has regular nail polish on it. Remember to put the top back on the bottle. I have knocked over many a bottle in my day and I've ruined many a table. These clips are sped for time. The original time it took to remove the nail polish from this finger was 1 minute and 17 seconds. And that was two coats of white nail polish and one top coat. One very thick top coat. You do have to put more effort into removing nail polish when you use soy polish removers. But in my opinion, and I've said this to you guys before, I would rather use the soy polish remover than dry out my nails continually, especially when I have gel nails on underneath. I don't want to ruin the gel nail underneath, I just want to remove the nail polish, and soy polish remover doesn't affect gel, which is fantastic. So now for this decal, I am letting the pad sort of soak on top of it. This clip was sped for time and it took 3 minutes and 48 seconds to remove the nail polish with the decal on top. It was two coats of white nail polish, the decal, and then one top coat. I recommend if you are going to use this to remove a sort of decal or those strips, maybe sort of lightly buff the surface of the polish just to break the seal of the strip and then that way the soy polish can get under it. It just saves you more work. As long as the polish gets into it, or not the polish, I'm sorry, as long as the oil gets into the nail polish itself, it starts to remove itself very easily. Now that I've made some headway, I'm going ahead and I'm letting the cotton pad soak and rest on top of the nail just so it can absorb more. And once I do that, it does start to come off a lot faster. The poor cotton pads though. They get destroyed. Well, you know, I'm not going to use them again, so throw them away. Here is what the nails look like once the, all the polish has been removed. And I only needed three cotton pads to remove all the nail polish on one hand. The soy polish remover worked wonderfully, and I also want to say that it doesn't have a smell. It's like a soft, sort of nutty smell, but it doesn't smell like acetone. Next, I'm going to use this nail polish remover to remove my stamping design that I did, I think, about two weeks ago. 
I loved this design and I loved it so much that I think I'm going to do it again very soon. Um, I won't make another video on it because that would get boring, but I might do this design on my nails again just because of how beautiful it was. Maybe when I go on a long vacation and I won't be able to paint my nails for a while. So I wanted to test out the nail polish remover as thoroughly as I could so I could give you guys an accurate review. What I'm doing now is I'm once again wiping my nails with the nail polish remover first, letting it sit for 20 to 30 seconds, and I thought, what would happen if I let my nails sit with the remover for, I don't know, 10 minutes on top? And I decided to use the clips that I normally use to remove gel polish because that way I could actually have them held to my nail for a sufficient amount of time. So here I am just cutting my little cotton pads and placing them on my nails and in the clips. What I do recommend for you to do though after you take off the nail polish, do wash your hands as the box says because if you touch anything with your hands and it has some of the remover on, you may end up pulling off paint from your nail brushes or uh, nail, nail bottle tops. I did that too. So it's been 10 minutes and before I took off the clip I sort of rubbed it around my nail and now I'm trying to strip off the cotton pad which has adhered to my nail. So I've cut and sped up this clip for time. It was 8 minutes and 38-ish seconds. And after removing the clips on my left hand, it was so much easier to remove the nail polish. It actually did help. The nail polish had time to absorb the remover, which was really great. You still have to put in a little bit more effort a little more elbow grease just to get in there and remove it all, but it does help to let it sit a little bit longer with a cotton pad soaked in the, I want to say remover, not acetone, sorry. As you can see, I have another set of gel nails underneath, and they are not affected by the soy polish at all. Here are the nails after all the nail polish is removed. You can see the oil that sheen that is left over on the skin and there is still some nail polish remover on my nails. I need to wash it before I try to ap apply any other polish. And now, last but not least, it has been about a week and I took off my nails from the last video and now I am going to use the nail polish remover to take off glitter nail polish. Yes, that's right. Soy polish remover to get off glitter nail polish. I don't remember who said it, I'm sorry, but one of you did recommend to me to use felt strips to remove glitter polish. And by the way, you are a genius. I have tons of felt from a project that never was finished, and I am now using it to remove Cake Pop by Live Love Polish, which is my favorite glitter polish in my entire collection, and the hardest to remove. So I just did what the direction said, which was to wipe the nail, let it sit for 20 or 30 seconds, and now I am taking my little felt pad here, and I am just rub rub rubbing until I get all of the polish off. And I can barely believe it. The combination of the felt patch and the soy polish remover is taking off this glitter nail polish probably easier than anything I've ever used before. And as you can see, it's also hydrating my nail. Look at it, it's so beautiful and sheeny, so pretty. I totally recommend this soy polish remover, guys. Look it up on Amazon, it's $8.99. That's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.